In this section, we'll be doing getting into advanced concepts. So we'll be learning the enum class, understanding inheritance, understanding abstraction, Java interfaces, and recursive methods. So in this video, we'll be doing the enum class. So we'll be covering the definition of the enum class and using the enum class. So back over to our code. So an enumeration is a collection of predefined values that a variable can take. So if we use the reserve word enum and then create a variable name operator, and then we can create different attributes of predefined values like so. So this is the basic syntax of creating an enum. So in our main method, let's go ahead and delete everything that we had already. And then let's use the scanner class to scan for input from the user to see what operator we want. So let's create a string variable to scan for the next line. And then the line, we are going to enter the string add. And then inside the if statement, we want to change the operator to the correct enum predefined value. So by default, let's give it the value add. Now inside the if statement, let's set that operator variable to the operator dot add predefined value. And let's go ahead and do so for the rest of the operators. And now let's create a switch statement to take in the variable operator. Now each case is going to be one of these predefined values. We want to use the calculator class and use the methods in our calculator class. These methods have not been created yet, so let's go ahead and make a few of these methods. So back in our calculator class, we can go ahead and delete everything to do with that variable that we made a few videos back. So let's go ahead and make the subtract method. Then also the multiply method, but let's instead of using an int, let's use a double. So go ahead and change all the values to a double. So we have already created the divide method, so we don't need to make it again. But let's rename it to div, as that's what we used in our main.java class. So instead of just calling these methods, let's print them out to the screen. And for example, let's just pass in the values 1 and 1, just for testing purposes. Just like that. So let's go ahead and press play and then test this out. So if we type in the characters sub and then press enter, as you can see, it goes to our switch case and then goes to sub and then prints out one minus one. And we can do that again, but let's type in add. And as you can see, it added one and one together. But just in case we don't type in exactly one of these operators, let's create an operator called error. Make the default value error as well. And then in our switch case statements, we can now create a case for the error. And then we can just print out an error message. And as you can see, we typed in adding, and that's not a valid operator, so it printed that out exactly. So back in our calculator class, we can go ahead and delete all the public access modifiers, as those are default and they aren't necessary.